All right, guys, I'm about to get real with y'all. If I can get the lighting right. Oh, that lighting's not bad. Can you guys see the track behind me? You see that? You see that? No, probably not. After 13 years of racing, guys, I think I finally figured it out. So one of the reasons why I started my channel is to bridge the gap between bashers and racers. There was always this huge group of bashers and not very many of them that race. And I don't think they didn't want to race. I think they were either intimidated or they didn't feel welcome in the racing scene. So that's kind of what I focused on was driving more general RC enthusiasts towards racing. A lot of RC racers don't get it. RC racing is actually a teeny tiny part of the RC world, like super small. There are RC YouTubers out there with millions of subscribers, millions. We'll use Kevin Talbot for example. He has almost two million subscribers. He's probably the biggest and baddest RC YouTuber right now. Two million subscribers. That means two million people around the world that have watched YouTube, only the ones that have watched YouTube are into RC. So in regards to racing, I would say you could almost argue in the US, there's probably only 2,000, maybe two to 5,000 racers in the US. I know there's these huge events where there's a thousand entries, but that typically means there's only about 500 people here. That math happens because obviously whenever people race, they race more than one class. So that's why there'll be only 500 people on a thousand entry race. And these are the biggest races in the nation here. The biggest, like we just recently broke the thousand entry barrier and we did it twice last year. So yeah, RC racing, I would say there's probably two, 2,000, between two and 5,000 racers in the US. That means that RC racing is probably composed of about 0.1% of the RC car world. Guys, RC racing is 0.1% of the RC car world. Meanwhile, a lot of the RC racers think that they're the big part, they're the main part. They're not. RC bashing and general RC enthusiasts are the main part. So you might be asking yourself, why don't people get into RC racing? So let's start with figuring out why people get into RC in the first place. A lot of times people get into RC to bond with their kids, to hang out with their friends, building something that's capable of doing things that most real scale cars can't actually do, like going super fast and jumping. The engineering part, the joy or challenge of fixing an RC car that reward you feel of doing a rebuild or building a kit from the ground up and seeing it run. That might seem weird to you guys, but the happiness isn't actually having this completed thing in your hand. It's the challenge. It's the pursuit that brings happiness, making it happen, working on things and seeing progress. Honestly, when you're done, that happiness only lasts, it doesn't last that long before you realize, maybe I should do another build. Maybe I should do something else. That's probably why people end up getting the addiction and owning a million RC cars. Not that I know. So going back to actual RC racing. For us competitive guys, the challenge never ends. You are always trying to win. You are always driving to win. You are always trying to improve. Even when you're going fast, you just want to go faster. That's what makes racing so freaking enjoyable. That competitive feeling is awesome. And a lot of people frown on the fact that they get frustrated when they lose or they don't win. And it's like, they're all about winning. To be honest guys, that feeling, that negative feeling of putting pressure on yourself when you win or when you don't win is actually super normal. It would actually be not normal if you lost and it, you just didn't care, then why are you doing it at all? So if you guys are asking if I get frustrated whenever I lose, guys, I do. I mean, God, I, my first qualifier was crap yesterday, dang it. And yeah, I was super freaking frustrated, but I gotta drive to be better. I can't just quit. But it's not all about winning, guys. It's about hanging out with your friends, hanging out with your family, spending time on the track, building a car that does things that a normal scale car can't do. Fixing an RC car, building an RC car, the challenge, the challenge of actually getting there. For me, it's super rewarding to know that a car that I just built went around the track that well and finished well and did the things that it did on the track. I mean, it's, it's absolutely amazing. So what's the kicker? The kicker is what I explained on why people RC race is the exact reason why people just get into RC in general. The problem is, is social media these days, we have basically ingrained into everyone that races that it's all about winning. We only post about our finishes, only post our podiums. And in our head, we've built this false hope that you should win every time you go to the track. And that is not the case. That's obviously impossible. Everyone can't win. 
And then when they don't, they feel like freaking failures and that's not the case. The good part is subconsciously, a lot of us racers do post what these races are all about. They post things about hanging out with their buddies after the race, having huge dinners where RC racers take over the entire restaurant. I know this isn't everybody, but some guys post videos or pictures of them slamming beers and getting wasted after the race. I know this sounds weird, but that's really what it's all about. Making these relationships, meeting these people, having fun, making memories. That's what we need to be promoting, guys. Not the fact that you lost the race and all the excuses on why you lost and how unfortunate you were or that you won this and won that. Now, the winning thing is kind of, is, is there for another purpose, right? That's a, a lot of times that's for sponsorship reasons. They like to promote that, which is perfectly understandable. But don't let social media trick you into thinking it's all about winning because it is not. That is not what this hobby is all about. This hobby is about all the important things, the relationships you make, the time you spend, the memories that you make, the people that you meet. That's what it's all about. And that's why I think RC racing is absolutely amazing. So I challenge all you guys who are racers, all you RC racers out there, when you post about stuff on social media about RC racing, make sure you get the important parts. Hanging out with your buddies. Take some selfies with people. Show you guys having a really good time. Don't just post that you lost a picture of your car and talking about how you had unfortunate stuff and you weren't ready or ran the wrong tires. Don't do that. That's spreading negativity of our hobby. We need to spread the positivity and all the crazy fun times. Here's gonna be a tough pill for you RC racers to swallow. Whether you get first or dead last, no one will remember. No one will remember. No one will remember next year. No one will remember next month. No one will remember next week. Heck, people probably won't even remember tomorrow. Your finish doesn't matter. Now, obviously there are exceptions to that. There are guys who actually get paid to win and they are on the team to win. This, they're excluded, but they are like 0.1% of the 0.001% that's in RC racing. So before you get triggered, yes, there are guys out there that are supposed to win, but it's, it's obvious. Generally, 99% of us, even if we're sponsors, we're out there to support, represent the company, and believe it or not, help new racers. So go to the track, race, have fun, make memories, but promote the important things. But don't brainwash everyone on social media that racing is all about winning because I'm not saying it's not a part of it, but it's the smaller part of it. Well, that's a wrap, guys. I actually gotta get back on the track soon and hope I improve my qualifying because it was not great. Oh man, I'll post video, I'll, actually I'll put a link in the eye above to the video of this race, it's freaking awesome. You gotta check it out. TNR A Main Challenge. Well, I hope you liked this video, guys. If you did, smash the like button, subscribe to my channel, turn on the notification bell. You guys will see me next time. Later, guys.